I'm Zara from The Upcoming, lovely to meet you. Congratulations on this fantastic feature, The Bucky Murders. Could you start by telling us a little bit about what viewers can expect when they watch this film? It's a murder mystery, it's a thriller, but it deals with themes that go beyond the mystery and the thriller. It deals with grief, with trauma, with closure, with motherhood, uh, and also, uh, you know, smaller, marginalized communities within a country like the UK. So the divisions, the polarization, their internal. So it's it's a very intimate uh, film that I think will resonate beyond its intimacy. And what kind of inspired you to tell this story? I, I the, the story in, initially the plot is what inspired me. But as you look at the plot and you start exploring further, you realize that there are multiple themes that sort of concern you, that you would like to explore through the film. So grief has always been something that I, uh, I find it difficult to process. So through your stories, you sort of try to work on yourself. And that's what this allowed me to do. And I know a lot of your previous work has kind of surrounded social and political events and a retelling of these through the eyes of some really remarkable characters. Um, what was it like working with Karen Chapur as, as Jess? I mean, she's phenomenal, you know, and she's sort of, you know, she's a mother, but not in the traditional sense because she's lost somebody. So what was it like working with her? She's, she's a major star. So, uh, but uh, I think when she came into the film, she knew what she was uh, you know, getting into. She knew that she was going to work with a director who was going to sort of push her uh, boundaries a bit. Uh, I wanted to explore her as an actor. Uh, and uh, I think she has done that. She's explored a vulnerability, a fragility that, uh, you know, you've not seen earlier. Because as a star, you're supposed to be, to look your best and you're supposed to feel your best. Uh, but you know, this kind of a story sort of allows you to look at a different, very vulnerable side of the person. And she's done that. I mean, she's done that with a lot of grace and very beautifully. And can you tell us a little bit about the filming process and, and the location that you filmed this in as well? This film is uh, primarily shot in uh, Buckinghamshire uh, in UK. Uh, a lot of the locations are in High Wycombe. So I wanted to set it within a small community, within a small town but not too far from London so uh, that com that place sort of lent itself to this uh, story um, was it very important for you to have a female in the lead a sort of a strong female figure because you don't see that that often in this kind of crime genre you know as a detective a female it's a very masculine world so was that very important for you to bring that to screen I did not see it that way I honestly don't uh, uh, consciously get into these narratives Know, male, female. For me, she was a mother first, and uh, that was important to me. Also, to treat her as a mother without really binding her to other relationships, because you know, the moment she's a mother, uh, you also sort of assign other roles to her: wife, lover. So here, you know, treat, looking at her as a mother and as uh, a detective, uh, you know. So if you look at the police as at her office her workplace there's so many females there it's a very 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 female workplace so it's again based on a lot of research that we had done what do you think are some of the themes that run through it that you'd love viewers to kind of take away when they watch this as i said it's uh, primarily a murder mystery a thriller but the themes of grief trauma they run and motherhood grief trauma and motherhood they run through the film and how does it feel to be here at the London Film Festival, bringing this, you know, bringing this to audiences? And what's kind of reaction you think been so far towards this film? Well, uh, nobody has seen it yet, <laughs> but uh, this is my third, my third time at the London Film Festival. So I had a film last year, then I had a film in 2016. So I feel like a veteran here, almost, with three films here, and uh, it's lovely. I mean, it's, the energy is, it's a pulsating cinema loving film festival oh well thank you so much for speaking thank to you. me thank you very much thank you